here's my standalone aquaponic system uh, you can see uh, this is the both the where the fish and the, the plants live on top I have a grow bed with black cinder and uh, I don't have much in it right now but I got some chives a couple of tomato plants um, rosemary and uh, some seedling lettuce as you can see up here is I have the uh, pipe to draw the water from the fish down below from the, the fish tank which I'll show and uh, it's kind of dim in here but I got a couple of water plants um, you can see the air pump going and in here I have some sword tails and a couple of white tilapia uh, they must be hiding right now but uh, under the the bubbles there uh, that's where I have the water pump and it's a completely DC system so both the air pump and the water pump run off of the the 12 volt battery and I'll show you that right now so in here uh, and because it sits outside I have this in a kind of a waterproof or a, 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 actually a weatherproof container um, it's just a rubber made uh, container to carry the battery and you can see here I got the charge controller and this may be overkill but I have an Arduino um, and all it does is really is uh, kick a timer on and off and um, I have a relay to control the water pump also my air pump lives in here it's kind of a mess of wires but uh, I'll eventually clean that up and then the battery I have a 12 volt I believe it's a 115 amp hour marine battery it's kind of a lot actually um, and I, I can probably power more stuff off of this setup but for now this is this is what I got it's kind of a proof of concept uh, I got different parts put put together and, and just wanted to see how it works and so far it's been working if I back up a little bit you can see my solar panel I just followed a DIY instructions on the net um, ordered some some of the solar cells off of eBay um, soldered them together you can see uh, I'm actually I don't do much soldering or general work with uh, hardware but um, anyway it is what it is but it works I sealed the sides with some aluminum aluminum uh, uh, tape and you can see the, the wires connecting everything so I'll show you how it runs actually right now I have it powered off but um the switch is uh actually I'll, I'll flip it on and what happens is I have the timer running uh, three minutes on and then 17 minutes off um, you can see the water kick off right there um, the reason why I did that is because I'm not sure that I can power this uh, and use a typical ebb and flow system um, 24 hours a day uh, for more than a few days I can probably do it uh, based on some pretty rough calculations at most uh, three days so I'm kind of concerned that if uh, I run out of some, you know, full sunlight for a few days, then this might just all shut down. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm just testing, seeing how this works. Um, so far, it's been running okay. Uh, I live in Hawaii, so uh, it's a tropical area. Um, so I do expect it to rain every once in a while. And I don't expect long periods of, of um, 
you know, not having any sun. So I may actually um, bump up the cycle a little bit more. So it fills up the uh, grow bed a little bit and then it just kind of drains out. I do not have a siphon system because like I said I don't think I can run this continuously. So that just drains back into the, in the, the little pond here eventually. And the swords are in there to keep the mosquitoes down and hopefully the tilapia will, will um, clean up the algae and you know produce enough waste for, for my plants. But otherwise that's my system, pretty simple and I can pr what I'm going to probably do in the future is add on more equipment or alter the, the watering cycles and just to see how well this works over a period of time.